Edward Snowden, the NSA leaker, he is on the run. The government is keeping track of every phone call. National Security made. Agency Director Keith Alexander told the House committee that 50 terror threats in 20 countries have been disrupted with the assistance of two secret surveillance China's programs. turn to accuse the U.S. of cyber spying and hacking. Some say privacy is dying, and some think it's already dead. At bottom, this is a story of disruptive technological change and a revolution in communications. It's about the internet, it's about mobile phones, it's about big data, it's about Skype, Twitter, Gchat, Facebook. It's about how all of these things and more come together in ways that create unprecedented opportunities to collect and process information. The private sector has taken full advantage of these opportunities and, of course, the government's taking full advantage as well, especially in the name of national security and the collection of intelligence. And this presents a profound public policy challenge. All summer, headlines have been filled with stories about the National Security Agency's programs and capabilities. The news has been shocking to some. It's been important to everyone. Some would go so far as to say we've entered into a constitutional moment. It's time for serious dialogue on this topic as we move towards a legal and policy architecture that makes sense both from a security and a privacy perspective. Now to do that effectively, you have to bring together privacy experts, technologists, and the officials charged with keeping us safe. And you need to engage the public in their discussions. South by Southwest Interactive is the perfect forum for that dialogue, and the Robert Strauss Center at the University of Texas the perfect vehicle to make that dialogue happen. So here's what we propose to do. We want to sponsor a two and a half hour workshop that will allow participants to take a deep guided dive into the policy, technical, and legal issues raised by the recent revelations regarding NSA surveillance. And to lead us through that process, we'll bring four leading national experts to Austin. First, to lead our technical discussions, Dr. Susan Landau, who's perhaps the country's leading expert blending technical and policy knowledge about surveillance online. All that kind of information is very private, deserves constitutional protection, and yet, under a secret interpretation of the law, uh, is in fact being handed over to the government. Second, to lead our discussions of the policy issues associated with the government's security interest, Timothy Edgar, formerly the National Security Council's Director of Privacy and Civil Liberties. But how can we preserve the benefits of the data revolution, the ability to have all this information, uh, whether it's on the open net, whether it's in federal systems or commercial systems, um, while addressing these threats? Third, to provide a privacy policy perspective, we will have Professor Jeffrey Rosen of George Washington University Law School, the author of the best-selling books, The Unwanted Gaze and The Naked Crowd. Let's assume the program works and in that sense is worth it. It's still completely unnecessary to design it in a way that arguably violates uh, the Constitution as well as uh, the USA Patriot Act. Fourth, there's me, Professor Bobby Chesney from the University of Texas School of Law. I'll provide the audience with a detailed but accessible overview of the existing legal architecture, and I'll also serve as moderator, where my most important function will be involving you, the audience, thoroughly in our discussions. Now, None of this is going to work unless you vote for us. Please take a moment right now to cast your vote for our proposal. And equally important, contact your friends and colleagues and ask them to do the same. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon in Austin.